Hey, welcome back to Java with Jeff. Got my beverage in my Bible. Hope you do too again this week. Hey, there's so much to be worried about, so much to be anxious about. We get anxious about our friends and our family and our futures, and we get overwhelmed about what to do about those things. And oftentimes it has to do with things that are totally out of our control, like tomorrow. Like we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So we get anxious, we worry about all these kinds of things. And uh, Paul, one of Jesus' followers, gave us some great instruction from the book in the Bible called Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Maybe you're familiar with it, but it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Don't be anxious about anything, is what Paul says. Really, Paul? Like, don't be anxious about anything? Don't worry about anything? How can we possibly do that? How can we be in a position in our lives where we actually don't worry about anything? That seems impossible. Like, is he asking for perfection? Well, no, because he, he continues in the verse and he says, but in every situation, go to God. In every situation, don't fear because you know the one who can take care of it for you. You go to God with prayers and petitions, asking him to do some things that he may not do otherwise unless we ask him to do them. That's what prayer is all about. Our Father, who's really good, is asking us to ask him to be able to go ahead of us so we don't get worried and have be anxious about our friends or our family members or our futures. And so go to God with everything. Be in constant prayer with him all the time. Go to him about all of those things because He's bigger than all of your worries and your anxiety. He's bigger than your future. He's bigger than any of the trouble that you're going to experience now or in the future. So I hope that's super encouraging to you. And then the, the verse also says to be thankful. With thanksgiving in your heart, you go to God with these things because you look back on the past and you look and see how faithful he's been in the past. And as a result, he's going to be faithful in the future to you. It may not go well, it might be difficult, but go to him and ask him to do some things that he may not do otherwise. Go to him in prayer. Don't worry about it. Hope that's encouraging you today. I hope uh, you, you don't worry. You go to him. We'll see you next week.